Hey guys, Sean with Long Long Honeymoon. You know I love nothing better than a good truck upgrade. With almost 140,000 miles on the odometer, our Ford F-250 Seymour was long overdue for new shocks and struts. I first learned about Bill Stein shocks many years ago when I was participating in a local sports car club. Bill Stein has a great reputation amongst sports car enthusiasts. So I was really excited to discover that Bill Stein has applications not only for sports cars and off-roading, but also for tow vehicles and RVs. Santa Claus was good to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the RBIA show in Kentucky, we had a great chat with Brian McCroskey of Bill Stein, who explained what makes Bill Stein shocks unique. Yeah, we've got a great heritage within the automotive industry. Um, in the 1950s, we invented a, uh, Bill Stein invented a, a monotube gas pressurized shock absorber. So basically what it was, a shock absorber before operated off of twin tube technology, which is still used today. Many applications use it for economics. It's very cost effective to make and put on from an OE perspective, but it is technology that was surpassed by the monotube technology. Two tubes working in a twin tube cylinder, but a monotube shock has one cylinder. And Bill Stein invented this technology in the 1950s. And it does not only provide better ride control, better stability, better performance, it also provides longer life of the shock absorber. Bill Stein shock is guaranteed for life for as long as you own it. If it ever fails, as far as any type of manufacturer defect issue, we cover it for life. Shock absorbers will wear out over time, just like your brakes, tires, things like that, but good 80 to 100,000 miles of Bill Stein shock should last you, as, as opposed to 25 to 30,000 miles on a twin tube shock. We do offer uh, shocks for not only the, the RV market towables, uh, your one ton, three quarter ton, half ton trucks that pull trailers, whether it's a travel trailer or a, a utility trailer, race car hauler, whatever, needs good damping control to perform and ride properly. Many of you probably have experienced going down the road and getting on a stretch of highway that you get a rhythm effect going from your trailer and it bounces the rear of the vehicle down. Well that's under damping of your shock absorber that's occurring. A Bilstein is damped much heavier and much more robust than your factory OE shock absorber that came on your vehicle. And I can explain a little bit why with the demonstration here in just a second. But yes, we do offer um, several different makes, models, applications uh, that are ready to bolt on for your Dodges, your Fords, your Chevys, Toyotas, uh, really the whole gamut of the light truck market. So what we have here are our Class C F350, F450 application shocks for a Class C motorized motorhome. And then here's our Ford F53 Class A shock absorber. These shocks are by far our most popular in both segments in Class A and Class C. Several of your OE manufacturers get these chassis in from Ford and immediately pull off the shock absorbers that are being put on from the assembly line and installing our dampers for better ride control for the owners that take those coaches home. A lot of your rider fatigue from fighting the wheel all day long on a long road trip is eliminated with a good set of Bill Stein shock absorbers. It won't return. Oh yeah. So it's wear off. It's worn out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice upgrade. So now you're gonna feel it. Yeah. <laughs> What I can show you is, is why a Bill Stein operates the way it does and why it controls your applications as well as it does. So again, monotube versus twin tube. So when a twin tube shock is built, there's very low gas pressure in the twin tube design. Again, you have two, uh, two tubes at work. You have your working cylinder, which is housed inside the cylinder that you see mounted on the vehicle. When you pull this cylinder out, you notice immediately that the Bill Stein monotube piston is about 233% larger than the piston that's in a twin tube shock. Same outside diameter, but much larger piston. With the larger piston, we can control the ride much better than we can with a smaller surface area of the twin tube piston. There's also a base valve in the bottom of the working cylinder of the twin tube shock. So as the shock cycles, and you can hear the air, hopefully, coming out of this base valve, the idea is when this shock is mounted on the vehicle, 
the void area between the working cylinder and the outside cylinder houses a certain amount of oil. The oil then is picked up from the base valve if it needs to extend in action, it pulls the oil in like a syringe. If it pushes in compression, it pushes the rod in compression, it pushes the oil out of the base valve. Over time, because of the low gas pressure in a twin tube shock, I can replicate the action here with this cutaway shock. Low gas pressure in oil with very high compression and rebound cycles creates what we call cavitation. Cavitation is bad for a shock absorber because once the oil is cavitated, it loses damping action. And when we compress the shock, we have no rebound control of the shock absorber. Very low gas pressure. The only control you have as the axle pulls the tire back down to the ground is the flow of the piston through the oil. So if it's a heavy axle, like on a one ton truck, that piston is being shoved back down to the ground as quick as it wants to from the action of the trailer. So when we build a Bilstein shock, it's a hydraulic, a gas over hydraulic technology. We use nitrogen on our shocks. We have a nitrogen gas area over, separated by a dividing piston over the oil. Same action that I showed you a second ago, I'm getting no cavitation because the oil is pressurized. It's stabilized because of the gas pressure. More importantly, I have rebound control. Okay, so as the shock controls itself, not only is it controlled through the piston flow, through the oil, it's also controlled by the gas pressure. This creates a much more stable towing effect on trailers, as well as very heavy Class A, Class B, Class C vehicles. So we have full coverage now of all the 16 and up aluminum body F-250 and 350, as well as the new generation uh, Dodge vehicles in heavy duty. So jump online, take a look at it. We have definitely enough coverage to get you tow vehicle set up and towing properly. We, we have story after story of guys who've owned a previous generation truck, ran it, loved the Bilstein performance on it, and the day after they buy it and drive it off the lot at the dealer of the new truck, they're calling us asking what products fit. So once you have a set, you'll know the difference and you'll always go to a Bilstein after that. So at the moment we are towing and Seymour is towing like a champ. I noticed that the truck is just a lot smoother going over bumps in the road. It's really noticeable whether or not you're towing. You know, if you're not towing and you run the truck over railroad tracks, for example, uh, it's just a much smoother transition. I mean, the, the shocks do a fantastic job of dampening uh, that motion that you experience. Seymour has always been a great towing truck, so this has been a really nice upgrade. I've used Bilstein shocks in other vehicles for a, a long time. In fact, I've done a little bit of driving on racetracks. Uh, I was always the slowest guy out there, but uh, all the race car guys know that Bill Stein makes fantastic shocks, and I'm happy to report that they're really uh, great in a towing setup too. Go see more go. Not only is the ride more smooth, I believe that the truck handles better because of the new shocks and struts. Uh, smooth. So that's it guys. Thanks again to Bill Stein and to Brian for hooking us up with the shocks for Seymour. And thanks also to the Haviland Service Center for doing a great job with the installation. If you want to purchase some Bill Stein shocks and struts for your vehicle, yes, they will be listed in our store on Amazon. You can find that store at amazon.com slash shop slash long long honeymoon. Until next time and the next upgrade, I'm Sean. This is Long Long Honeymoon where we say lo lo ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.
Hey guys, if you like our videos, a great way to say thank you is to shop using our store on Amazon. You can find it at amazon.com slash shop slash long long honeymoon. You can bookmark this address and start your Amazon shopping there every time. Everything you need for your next RV adventure awaits in our store. But you don't have to just buy camping gear. You can use our store to buy anything that Amazon sells. When you go to our store, you begin a unique shopping session. For the next 24 hours, all the items that you add to your Amazon shopping cart will be credited back to Long Long Honeymoon. When you make a purchase using our store, we receive a small commission. We're reinvesting those commissions into the production of our show. All purchases made in the Amazon store are completely private, so we have no idea who is buying what. So if you're looking to buy a new banana slicer, you now know where to go. Or a banana hammock. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs>